It wasn't the debate either candidate expected months ago, but it's shaping up to be the most anticipated event to date in the 2024 contest. Donald Trump and Kamala Harris will square off on a Philadelphia stage next Tuesday for the first and perhaps only time before November's election. I look forward to the debates because I think we have to set the record straight. If you've got something to say, say it to my face. The meeting comes just two and a half months after President Joe Biden's disastrous debate performance that upended his re-election bid. While few expect a similar political earthquake to result from this matchup, both sides will be looking to score that knockout blow. The stakes for Tuesday night's debate couldn't be any greater. This is kind of the first time they'll get to see both candidates on the stage together. I think it's the first time they've ever been in the same room. Harris and Trump will be sparring in a state expected to play a crucial role in November's election. Polls show the candidates essentially tied in Pennsylvania, a key swing state that has sided with the winner of the last two presidential contests by just tens of thousands of votes. You know, given it's one night only and uh, the, the unique uh, history and circumstances surrounding it, it's going to be uh, unforgettable and could go down as you know, one of the, the most impactful presidential debates of all time. Like the June debate between Trump and Biden, Tuesday's showdown will have no live audience, and the candidates' mics will be muted when it's the other person's turn to speak. Trump sees the square off as his best chance yet to end the political honeymoon Harris has enjoyed since taking over as the Democratic candidate. This may be his last chance to change the narrative and the trajectory of the race. This 90-minute event will be the way to do it. Call says Harris, a former prosecutor who is still introducing herself to the nation, enters the night with relatively high expectations. I think the stakes are great for both candidates. Um, maybe a little higher um, for Harris in that she's not as defined, and she's had such a good rollout from July, and so you know, people are expecting a lot. With less than two months to go before voters head to the polls and early voting in some states starting just around the corner, Tuesday's matchup could be a defining moment in a presidential election that has already, repeatedly, defied history.